Today is going to be a different type of video. 100 days, yes, but one where I spend 100 days in Baldur's Gate 3. More like 100 long sleeps, but still counting the days. In Baldur's Gate 3, you are going to see creatures straight from D&D that are as vicious as ever, to different spells being used for both good and evil, and to meeting a lovely old lady that later on wants to kiss your eye. Will you let this wonderful lady take your eye out and give it a big old kiss? Or are you going to further the story and make it to Baldur's Gate? The choice is yours. So, without further ado, I spend 100 days in Baldur's Gate 3, and here's what happened. As I loaded up the game into the menu, the transitions were seamless and graphics just stunning. Even with me trying to decide on what character I wanted to create, that took me a hot minute. And by that, I meant 30 minutes. <laughs> My name's gonna be Thrall. Haha, <laughs> I'm Thrall. You had a variety of races, different sub races after that, choosing a class that would hopefully meet your expectations, and so much more. Even the customizations through building your first character was intense with the side of holy crap, look at what we just built. If that wasn't enough, the game also allowed you to customize your personal guardian, a mysterious figure in-game who would eventually come to your aid. Now I was meeting those of which took us captive. All I wanted was out. Hey, <laughs> the frilliest boy ever. Look at this orc. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> oh, look at us. The first thing we did as we made it out of live was to touch some unknown pool full of tadpole. Who thought that was a good idea? Oh, okay. Hey, <laughs> it's this uh, boom, one boom. Continuing down the mutated corridor, we found ourselves a lift that went up. Someone or something calling out to us. My first D. Okay, here we go. Let's go. D20. Come on, give me a 20. <laughs> I'll take it. This was the first time in my gaming history that I didn't want a brain for a companion following me around. Finding ourselves ready for a fight, but instead to be met with a newly acquainted friend, Lazelle, who was fierce and someone to be reckoned with. One who would cut down the muddiest of foes and leave no one behind. Wait, I might be able to kill him here, actually. Come on. Oh, well, he's down for a little bit. And then we'll swing at this guy. All right, we killed them all in a single blow. The path ahead was simple and led me to a weird looking console. This one had certain controls I wasn't supposed to touch, but I did anyway. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners. Dead bodies, okay. That's kind of creepy, but look really cool. All right, finish him. Oh, I love how strong I am. Kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. The biggest reason for choosing the class I did was exactly for moments like this. Can I, how do I use, use? You, get me out of this We're not finished yet. Here we go. And, ooh, baby. As our party was ever growing, this next person joined our team, someone by the name of Shadowheart. She was a secretive type who kept to herself, a dark presence that would linger over her in hopes to regain what she had lost. Continuing on as we were feeling pretty great here, because my party was full, that meant obviously nothing could stop us. Well, let me tell you, something stopped us. Oh, this looks like a bigger battle. Woohoo! All right. Okay. Wait, are they attacking Dude, or ta what? We'll deal with the gate after we escape. They're talking to us? Isn't that not? Oh, I don't know. Okay, All right, here we go. Who are we fighting with first? Impact is imminent. I must connect the helm. <laughs> oh, 23? What the fudge? Oh, that was it. Cool. All right. Ooh, something's coming. It's clear. Hurry before they strike. You've made it in time.
Oh, we actually made it. Okay. But we haven't made it out the ship just yet. There I go! Hey! Picking myself up from what should have been a death sentence, I found Shadowheart a few steps ahead of us, unconscious and holding this mysterious box. She's a little beaten up. Oh, the box. Not make it weird right now. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? True. Seems like we're the lucky ones. Well, back on the path, we found a few fish for the taking, a dead body or two that seemed past due date, and a weird looking sigil on the wall. These markings meant that we found a waypoint and if connected with more, they would provide us with easier ways of transportation. Just up ahead, I found myself in a little bit of a pickle with some intellect devourers, and let me tell you, they weren't that smart. I mean, we killed them as quickly as they came. This orc is so strong. I love it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I... <laughs> Oops. Gathering what I could from a nearby chest up top, we found ourselves headed towards a little dock, checking out to see what was inside this first chest, and that was today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Enlisted. I will use the ad money to buy toilet paper. And I'm not talking about the one ply stuff, I mean the two ply stuff, okay? Introducing Enlisted, the ultimate World War II multiplayer shooter that puts you in the boots of these brave soldiers. In the heat of the battle, heroes are born, war rages, alliances are forged, and the history is written by those who dare to fight. Immerse yourself in the most authentic campaign and battles ever depicted in a game. From the beaches of Normandy to the streets of Stalingrad, every moment is a chance to prove your valor. Enlisted is available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 5, as well as PS4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. Choose your side, be it the Allied Forces or the Axis Powers. Lead your squad through tactical maneuvers, seize strategic points, and turn the tide of battle. Unparalleled realism awaits with meticulously recreated weaponry, uniform, and environment. Feel the weight of history in every shot, every explosion, and every victory. Join the forces with friends and players from around the world. Coordinate your strategies, communicate with your team, and make history together. As you fight, you'll unlock new weapons, equipment, and upgrades. Customize your soldiers to fit your playstyle and become a force to be reckoned with. Enlisted isn't just a game, it's a journey through the crucible of history. Will you raise to the challenge and shape the outcome of war? Join the fight today and download Enlisted for free on all platforms. Ready to enlist? As we caught up to the next companion, this would be one for the books. Astarian, a charming vampire cursed with an eternal existence and a thirst for blood. His journey was filled with twists and turns, keeping you on your toes the entire game. The next companion we would find was Gale, a hand sticking out from a weird looking portal and one in need of our assistance. Sure, why not? Uh, slap, <laughs> slap. You know, I got the strength, let's do it. Gale was a powerful spellcaster with a wide variety of spells, making him essential to our party. Giving him a level alongside a few spells for his kit, we found ourselves confronting Gimbalbach. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Oh, yo, I get really big intimidation here. This is big D energy, man. What the fudge? Look at that. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Taking a moment to shoot down this big cylinder of a rock hanging above, there seemed to be a place underneath and very unknown. One I was really excited to start exploring. Ooh, okay, we got a locked door. This guy's awesome. He just gives me the seven already. Like, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's just so good. Time to rage on out. Okay, finally, we got one. Oh my lordy. 
Yes! Oh, a good crit, a good crit, a good crit. Okay, it's just this lady. That's fine. You try to push me, you didn't push me. I'll get you, buddy. Don't worry, I will get you. Pick him up, pick him up, please. Yes, oh, we saved the character. The last few things we would accomplish was finding a hidden lever to pull that was found inside a library. Combing through the insides of what seemed to be catacombs and eventually finding ourselves a button just waiting to be not pushed. But I push it anyways, okay? Let me tell ya. As we cleared up the dungeon, we found a lid to the sarcophagus, pushing the lid aside and meeting Withers for the very first time, an undead friendly who was privy to our success later on. This would be my very first sleep to send us off into the next day. Waking up to a new day, the plan was simple. To find and save our friend Lazelle from captivity. What if I shoot you down now? Hey, we did it! Okay, now we really gotta help her. Woo! Yeah, baby! Look at us! Lazelle! Hello, Lazelle! But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. It sounded easy enough, but not without a few obstacles in our way. Continuing on the path to the next location, something could be heard from up ahead as a fight was about to begin. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Oh, we do have people. Open the bloody gate! Oh, they're Nobody being attacked. Zevlor's orders! All right, my turn. Kill him? Sweet. Oh, dang. Good job on the nine there. And you dazed that fool? Let's go. Hey, Zalvor is rallying. Love to see that. With the last goblin slain and defeated, it was time to loot all the dead bodies around. One second. Let me just not fall. Here we go. Okay. The first couple of steps into Emerald Grove and another fight was about to hatch. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Here we go, let's do it. Oh, intimidation, Enough. baby. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Now, who's ready to do some selling of items to Aaron here? Okay, this guy, I want to buy some stuff. Some or sell some stuff, out. actually. I don't know what to sell and what not to sell, there's a thing. But it looks like I might see everything. Not only was selling stuff satisfying, but leveling up in this game and the way it looked was another guilty pleasure of mine. Meeting up with another companion while inside Emerald Grove, this was Will. Known for the Blade of Frontiers, Will carved a reputation as a renowned living legend and an esteemed noble. Encounters with him unfolded early in the game as he was in pursuit for a demonic foe. While looking around the cave some more, I found myself learning to speak with animals, specifically a rat. or else. <laughs> or else, or else what? Or else, I'll, I'll bite you. Ow! Oh, my tooth. It's the front one. I chipped it on the evil thing. Looks fine to me. What evil thing? Sounds like your problem. In the box. Follow me. I'll show you. Ooh, yes, please. Cool. I can talk to animals. This is sick. I love this. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? What? Where are we going? What the fudge? Hello? Uh, all right, you're gonna have to unlock this, buddy. Should we? Whatever's behind that lock, it's being watched. Oh, well, fine. We can't get there then. Just step away. If there was a single person who really did scare me to my core, it was Auntie Ethel. Next, this game had me talking to a cow of all things. Strange. Wait, what? A fudge? Ox's gaze is following me. Strange ox. Oh, you're addressing me. A humble ox. How quaint. How are you talking? What? <laughs> uh, yes, please. Give me a bonus. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. You are incapable. 
Incapable, excuse me? Ooh, out with the cow. Ooh, dis or intimidation. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. Move. It seemed I was pretty popular with all the animals nearby. That and animal speaking came in quite handy while in these lands. Even a sleeping bear that was cute and cuddly. Though, while in search for a healer, I was forced to watch Kaga almost kill a kid. While everything in Emerald Grove went swimmingly, I found my favorite person of all time. One with such a beautiful voice. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain. Will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become a oh, moon. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Wait. The last thing for us to do was head back to our campsite and see if there was anything else we needed. As I was ready to take on more of Baldur's Gate 3, the path ahead was blocked by a few people. A certain set of people who thought of us as a true soul. Unsure of where to go next from here, a fight was about to rage on. While taking our time to familiarize myself with the surroundings, I found dead bodies littered all about. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's grave? looting their stuff in the process as they wouldn't have any use for it going forward. Something that did catch my eye was this animal laying on the ground. Oh wait, whoa, what happened to the boar here? The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on, 
We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Apparently it was my lucky day too, because I would find the blighted village. Get over there! Surround them like! I know you're there, show yourselves. Um... You've spotted us! Good! It's like they say, no fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Ooh, all right, here we go. Hold up, lads. This one might be more we bargained for. Go on, then. Just keep your nose clean. All right, I could do that. I could do that. Going into this game, I was aware that certain romantic scenes would show some biddies, let's say. But I never expected this to happen. Hello. What the? Oh my God! What in the hell? Okay. I don't know if I could show you guys this, but oh man. I am strong. I am virile. I am a enough. Oh my god. My guy's just making fun of them. Passion squished like slow goats underfoot. We leave. We didn't even have to fight you guys. Sweet. Oh, look at the lovely couple. Guys, look at the couple. They're so cute. They really are cute together, though. We got Boother and Grukka. After intruding on some lover's quarrel, we found ourselves with a little fire pit in front of us, a dagger sticking out of some meat and rolling a d20 that would end up snapping the thing in half. Uh, I'm going to use strength because I got strength. I can't believe that just happened. I also can't believe how strong my intimidation was to these goblins. Alright, hello, what's going on? Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you hope you got a stomach for rights. It's that one or ooh. Let's try this. No. You wouldn't be able. You're just uh um The goblin's nostrils flare as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us! Cool, look at that. We win. Moments later, we found a few creatures lurking inside an abandoned house, trying my best to avoid a fight. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Unfortunately for us, I didn't have the greatest luck, and that left me rolling every d20 we didn't I want or need. Food? 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 Oh crap, are we fighting? Oh jeez. Uh, you guys have somewhat of a lot of HP. Oh god. Oh crap, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Who the heck is this? Grob? What? There's a goblin crawler? Sometimes the only way out is through. Yes! Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, my God. That was tough. This guy was a... Oh. 
Another thing you should know here is that I did learn much later on how to manage my inventory using companions for their inventory space and sending stuff back to camp. So you'll have to bear with me while I struggle to hold stuff here and figure things out, let's say. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and no, nightmares. Oh, we're having dreams now? What is Maybe going on? Who is that? Something is, wrong. is there someone Maybe by our camp? You just get lucky. What the fudge? Yo, this man's about to bite us. I don't think I get to like first or second base with anyone. Not even a Starian. But hey, you know what? When in Rome, it's let like them suck you dry. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Can we let him go? Here we go. Please. Oh, gosh. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just yes. Mm. Oh. Oh. Of course. That. That was amazing. This next part of the story, I brought Lizelle with me as certain companions would have different outcomes with certain NPCs in Baldur's Gate. Oh, Lord, eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me oh, oh, yeah. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You do as she says. All right, you do as she pleases. Lower. Waiting for the tiefling to obey. On your knees, she won't say it again. You saw another gith. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate, n near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Now it was time to head towards the blighted village once more. Going through the front gates of Emerald Grove, crossing a sketchy bridge, and finding a little sad pup just standing over its owner. Hello, dog. Let's Keep talk. Moving, stranger. Quietly. Ah, uh, I can hear you now. I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. It looks dead. Just go. I won't ask you again. Uh, I mean, can I loot him. Hey. Remember when I mentioned Auntie Ethel scaring the daylight out of me? Yeah. Well, now we had to choose sides here. Hey, it's Auntie Ethel. Look at this. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. We we won't ask again. Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Unsure of who I was supposed to trust in the moment, Sweet it was clear to me that I made the wrong decision. But that was the magic about Baldur's Gate 3. You could make the wrong choices. You could kill the good or bad guys and still enjoy the game for what it was. The next part of our travels took us deeper into the forest, hidden with magical minds of sorts. Am I bleeding? Oh, I am bleeding. That's not good. What is this? Oh, I do not like water. This place almost felt like a dream. Trees were perfect and the grass couldn't have been more luscious. Everything around us looking like a cute and cozy place, but feeling like a lie until I found it. The well of unfathomable strength. Fresh, sweet smelling water gurgles gently. The warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster. Better. What I didn't know at the time was who this well actually belonged to. My bad. I'll tell you now, Auntie Ethel was a piece of work. I 
don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna. Wait, she did steal the sister? Oh my god, I killed those guys. Let me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. And the second she wanted to kiss my eye, that was my cue to leave. Get this damn parasite. I'll check my tent. Mm, depends well, on the price. That depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I'll pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck. Then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more. Nothing less. What, nothing more? I don't like her. I don't like her. She's crazy. Uh, I feel like she's going to kill me someday. While making my way back to the village top side, the animal speaking spell was again, definitely a top three favorite of mine. Um, okay. Oh, I bet you it's auntie. I bet you it's auntie. Looking out to the dangerous waters, there was no way I was about to do that to my companions again. So back to the blighted village was the plan. Searching the grounds a little more and then continuing our journeys towards the goblin camp. This place was easy to spot as most things left in their path were burnt to the ground. As much as I did want to fight the horde of goblins as well, it felt like a good time to take a rest. Don't get me wrong, the goblin camp was still our priority, but I wanted to clear up some more of the fog that covered the map. That meant visiting each location to be uncovered. I had a direction in mind too, but the game had other plans for us. Oh, something's happening. What is happening? Hello. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say. For your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> They do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Who is this? Come. Raphael. Oh! Apparently we're going somewhere, okay. Ooh, okay, I like uh, this. Middle of somewhere. Nice to... Core. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed. Okay, that looks really good. What? Go on, partake. Enjoy your supper. I feel like I'm watching a movie. It might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Oh, that's awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Than a devil you don't know. <laughs> a devil you do. As little as this was, I learned that jumping would play a pretty significant part in Baldur's Gate. While all our companions did make ah, it across the gap safely, Gale was in need of some help here. My um, predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. We've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. I'll give you the boots. All right, we got to find more loot now. Holy crap. That looks scary. What? If there was anything to take away from my playthrough right now, it's that the game had so many surprises waiting around every corner. The creature's eyes roll back in its head. Or pop. Look bliss at this thing. And agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. 
She's still hungry. Come! See! My flesh becomes new flesh! You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist. And okay, I do not like that. Oh, God. Cold realization. This isn't the end. Knolls. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. We gotta attack while we can. Holy crap. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. Having defeated all hyenas in the fight, I would press on in search of clearing more fog from the map. There's something happening over here. I'm not a fan of that. The Risen Road was a place I would need to come back once we grew stronger. Obviously, I didn't want to back out from a fight, but seeing that this was my first time playing a game like Baldur's Gate 3, I tried my hand elsewhere. This led us to finding someone across a riverbend, Karlak. She was a powerful tiefling barbarian who admired strength in both combat and life. Once a slave soldier condemned to fight a war for the rest of her days, soon turned to inspire and approve acts of kindness towards the oppressed. Oh, 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 she's going Super Saiyan. This is Karlak, by the way. Are we supposed to fight her? I don't want to fight her. With Karlak by my side and a vengeance to fulfill, we did exactly that up ahead. Cut it out. It's worse than Knowles out there. Let's see if we can attack this person. No time for mercy. Kill him, kill him, kill him. You still to fight. And now you have one. Okay, so I take more damage now, and you guys destroyed the ladder. Oh, that's good. Oh, we died because he tried to move. Right. You got to push me, buddy. What are you doing? All right, now it's my turn. Oh, wait. Let's give us one more. Is there another person? Oh, crap. There is. Old person. I'm never going back. She is just breaking down the entire place. Looking back on it now, I realized what I did wrong here and how much dialogue I actually missed. Oh well. As we were back on the beaten path once more, another sigil was close by. Finding what looked to be a dead end full of traps in this cave. Of course, this is where my curiosity got the best of me. Nope, we didn't get that. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh! Uh, I mean, well, now the rock's in the way and we almost died. Oh, he did die. Wow. While still stuck in the cave, the only way out was through. So trying to jump across the other parts of the cave, some of our companions had a troubling time themselves. Stuck as I was, the only other plan I had left was going back to camp in hopes it would set us in a new location. As you Wait. could probably tell, that's not exactly what happened. Please tell me we're out of that place now. Oh. Um, yeah, we're out of that place. Okay, well, this is not good. Oh, is this the big guy? Oh, crap, it is Flynn level five. If I wanted to clear the enemies out, the only way was facing the enemies head on. The amount of time I would try to clear out this hyena camp was unreal. We actually had a moment of relief as I found a way to turn the tiles. Oh, we're talking to him, apparently. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No, the voice has forbidden this meat. No, see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through. Oh, authority. 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 The fact that you could turn your enemies and have them fight alongside you was bonkers. Oh, it is happening. Look, guys. Oh, I'm getting this person to attack. Though it's not until we killed everyone, things really turned for the worse. Dominate her mind, command her to feast on her seal. Exert your mental power, commanding her to leave. Sever the connection, prepare to fight. But I want to see her eat herself. Or not. Okay, I think we're going to fight. Oh, God. 
fighting it is. If we couldn't get lucky again, then I needed a new plan and one that I would have to come back to. For now, it was time we visited the rest in which a dragon destroyed and set a flame. While being up on the second floor here, I completely missed the part where I was supposed to save a person. Come on. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. No. How the hell do we get out of here? So as Karlak was keeping this man safe downstairs, it was off to helping another group of people close by. Come. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Just before thinking of leaving, we were met on our way out. Fresh air. At last. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you all right? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the manor and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. This game had it all, from burning houses to people peeping on one another. Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham! What's the matter? And who are you exactly? Might have been concerned, but I had the slightest idea who they are. Just another harassing fool trying to get to Baldur's Gate in one piece. I want to get to Baldur's Gate. Oh, let me get to Baldur's Gate. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Drop your weapons. I'll feed your innards to the ants oh, it's the before thank I do you. that, this is your, your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Oh, look at the dragon! Oh my god. Woo! They are not alive. Oh ho ho! But the bridge is also gone. Stop wasting time, Beretta. Oh, wow. Look at all of them. You're not here to play with the locals. As we were traveling deeper into the mountains, a vision came to while hearing a voice. Hear my voice. Obey my command. The voice is irresistible. Every word is drenched with a power and authority that you do not understand, but cannot deny. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power Ooh, and what is this? A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. Oh, the artifact. Right, we had that. Almost forgot. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. I feared for my life as we entered the next camp scene. Oh, is this, this might be me. What is happening? We're tired. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others. Then, myself. Your minds intertwine. 
You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. Oh, this is the person I made. This is like our, our, that person, like our friend or like, I don't know what to call them really. Yes, you have. I saved you before. So she was there on the Nautilus? Oh, that was her? And I'm here to save you again. Oh my god! Oh! Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Oh my gosh. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. This is what? <laughs> oh! This is just casually happening, okay. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. So she just helped us, cured us, did something to us. Was I ready for another fight? Who knows? All I knew is that I wanted to fight the hyenas one more time. Not two more times, or even this third time. Definitely just wanted to attempt this one more time, okay? <laughs> Seeing that luck wasn't on our side, all we had left to do was find the three captains within the goblin fortress and take them out. Even before talking to the goblins at the entrance here, I was curious to see if sneaking our way through was an option. This place had it all, from goblin merchants to goblin meetings, and even a goblin peeing in public. Is that dude peeing? What the <laughs> he's peeing? Oh, he's straight up just peeing. That's great. Okay. Ooh, it's one of these guys again. Guard Gergen. The next place it took us through were these big gates. Once inside, I knew right away that this was going to be quite the task. Walking to a set of stairs, we were met by some goblins. They wanted to chat a bunch and I just wanted to roll two d20s. As successful as I was, it was time we had our little chat with the priestess. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you. Hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Uh, no. I assume this mark has a purpose. I'm not letting you burn me for a life on a whim. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man. Oh, that's one of the three. Chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess. What the heck was that? Again. A vision? Push deeper into her mind? No, let's keep her going, yeah. Her floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania. Secure. Hidden. I feel you in there. Digging around. Don't want this rabble interfering with truth. Ooh, so I could get her by herself. Okay. Change of plan. I'm gonna Yeah! The absolute will protect me. You don't stand a chance. Alright, you wanna see? You wanna see? You wanna see? What are you? 40? Let's go bear mode. Alright, get that extra damage in, please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> With one of the three down, I found an elithid worm that was ready to burrow inside our brain. Oh my god, there's an actual elithid powers? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm actually holding the worm. Oh my god, I do not like this, but I'm gonna go for extra damage. Okay. Walking through a random door nearby, we were immediately caught and forced to go back the way we came don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Continuing my search through the sanctum some more, I was about to be a witness to a murder slash sacrificing. I don't know. We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Not dead and heroic. Get down there and stop complaining. Get down there and stop complaining. Ah! 
Well, that man just got pushed in there. Oh! Look at the spiders. That's the spider pit. Oh, oh, oh I don't like that. And we found her, Minthara, the next in command and a drow. If you were sent here to hunt him, perhaps you can help me. The druid makes his home in a nearby sanctuary where his followers worship a false god. Okay, I'm gonna try this. You would dare. The darkness will take you, Iblith. What is this orb thing? Um, us fighting Minthara the way we did would announce ourselves to every goblin inside and out. Oh crap, it's calling reinforcements. I gotta kill that. Oh, reinforcements are here. Oh crap. <laughs> I pushed him with the <laughs> Got him. Oh god, that was good. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh my god. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Camp supply pack. Ooh, look at that. It's a mace. Oh, hey, look, it's us again. Uh oh. Hell's fire. She's coming. Whoa, who is this? Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. You flatterer. Why, if I had a warm heart, I'm sure it would be skipping. Call me Mazora. And his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora, and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me, devils only. She's a tiefling, not a monster. How precious. The little pupster's found his bar. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence. And their torment. What is happening? Holy crap, did that just happen? That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. I'm so conflicted. I like her a lot, but she's so evil. So it's like, what, what do I do? The next fight being Ragslin. Knowing that every goblin in this camp wanted us dead, I would make sure they knew exactly who we were as I stole their gold, running into batches of goblins all over the place as we tried to avoid the majority of them. It didn't really work out so well. Something else that didn't work out so well was us trying to leave the sanctum and alive at that. I completely forgot that at the time fast traveling was a thing and apparently had it in my head that the only way was fighting our way through. The biggest encounter inside had to be the main hall here. Goblins on every corner and with each kill, one more would pop out from the shadows. Lucky for us though, I was ready and prepared for whatever they threw our way. We did happen to run into one of their captives, tied up and in the process of being tortured. Even Volo was being held captive inside this place, alongside with a person we came looking for, Halson. What I didn't expect to happen was what happened between Shadowheart and Lazel. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Girls, girls, now. stop fighting. Come on. Can't we be civilized? I hope. You had every chance to look the other way, but here we are. 
You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. They're really gonna do this right now. Come on, guys. Teddy squirrels disturb my rest. Stop at once or I'll make you stop. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up and I'll show you. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. What was so hard for me to understand is that I didn't know how to leave this place the conventional way. Sure, I could open up the map and just click a new area to get away in seconds, but that was something I just didn't understand quite yet. The only thing we attempted was fighting our way through a horde of goblins within the camp, all who were waiting outside for us. There was even a single moment where I was so close to finally killing more than I thought possible, but I just needed a few more turns to make it really count. Just before calling it a night, I wanted to weigh out all my options and look around the temple some more, see if there was anything I missed. Continuing throughout more of the corridors, I did come to find a room filled with all sorts of puzzles. One we would need to figure out if we wanted to progress further. I hope it's that. Ah! This goes very Ooh, far down. The phases unfold. That's a really long ladder. What? Whoa! What? Salon to help. Where am I? Am I supposed to be here? I, I honestly, I've been trying to go back upstairs. I don't even want to be here. I have so much loot. It's kind of annoying. With the night skies finally here, this is where I learned more about my protector and a little backstory with Shadowheart. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. My name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. 
That's all I remember. That's everything. Wow. I finally realized how easy it was to leave this temple. So if I use this, can we get out of here? Let's see. Camp, overgrown ruins. Over oh my God, we can. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can get out of this place. Oh, thank Lord. Oh my God, we got to go back here. Return to Damon. All right. Thank you. Oh my god, I've been trying to do this thing forever now. I was honestly thinking of not showing you this, but I mean, hey. Even better than that, Halson was finally back at Emerald Grove, and we were here to make things right. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches when you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. With a burning heart running as hot as the depths below, we had one more pit stop just before meeting the blacksmith. Let's try this door. Uh, don't- Whoa, where are we going? Hello? I'm just literally trying to open this stuff up. Oh, here's the mouse! The mouse was like, uh, you know, we gotta check this out. Hold on, what's in here? The evil thing gone! No, where was I? The tiefling who would help Karlak was one by the name of Damon. Story. I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. It was finally time to enjoy myself with a nice celebration for the Grove. The next day, and a place that actually drove me away because of how strong these creatures were, was a camp full of hyenas. The levels we gained and some knowledge from previous fights really did make all the difference I would need. Look at that, we actually did it. While having another victory here, it was time to do a little more exploring around the caverns. Perhaps we missed something. What I planned on doing next was definitely the wrong thing to even try my hand at because of their levels alone. With one last cleanup, it was back towards the goblin camp because we still had a few stragglers inside the base. All right, you guys go first. Come on now. We did it, guys. We freaking did it. All we had left to do was visit our camp for another surprise visit. With a new day here, there was no reason not to loot everything up. Goblins were dead and I wasn't. There was a lot of loot to go around and that also gave me a good amount to sell back at Aaron in Emerald Grove. Something I will never become a fan of is spiders. All right, I don't want to do this. I don't know why I'm doing this, but we're letting the spiders out. Oh God, okay, okay, okay. We got spiders here. Ooh, that guy jumps, that guy jumps. Can I just do a normal attack? Not enough action. What do you mean? We stuck? All right, now we can attack. Now you guys are dead. God, freaking spiders are so obnoxious. With the last few bits of the temple cleared, it felt like I'd finally gathered all the XP I could with no more bodies to fight. That actually took us back outside, searching around Auntie Ethel's place in case we missed anything. Who is this? Hello, Gendrel? Gendrel. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the uh, aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Part of me really didn't want to revisit Auntie Ethel here, but seeing that she was of the last few quests we didn't complete, it felt like the right thing to do. Hello, sweetness. You going to give me one of those precious peepers? A touch, but sure, you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. I don't trust you at all. Whoa! What? What is she?
Oh my god. Whoa! Look at Auntie Ethel. I knew this was all fake. It looked too good to be true. You blink and the wilderness changes. Oh my god. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Whoa. Much better. That human skin is fierce, restrictive. Ah, uh, so the brothers were right. You're a hag. Cute. Am I supposed to be impressed? Uh, I'm gonna go. Hmm. Indeed, I am. And a fabulous one at that. Not many get to see a hag in all her glory. Consider yourself blessed. Now choose which I will it be, right or left. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm gonna attack you right now. You absolute Egypt. Egypt. We're in Egypt now. She teleported. She's invisible. While the day did last a little longer than planned, our companions would eventually need a good break. Auntie Ethel fled away into her lair. This gave me no greater reason than to chase after her. The place ahead was fouled and filled with a poisonous stench. Something I would have to get used to the longer I stayed. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. It almost felt impossible without a key of sorts or a way to truly break down this living door. Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Unfortunately for us, this part of the quest would have to wait as we had a few more spots to clean on our map. The next being a little shed in the Blighted Village. Visiting the rest once more, I found myself a small cabin outside the outer walls. Is that him? That might, that might be him? You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Bugger! Oh, I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on it soon. So if you're looking to trade, you best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. All right, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, this is the wardrobe we have to get into. Oh, okay, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. While we did have a lot more of our map cleared up, be it the fog or locations, there was still one place that I didn't fully explore every inch of. I do want to go back to this area. I feel like there was something else I was missing and I don't want to miss it. Wait, there's a crack in the wall? What the? Hello, crack in the wall. I still see you. Oh, it did work. Oh, let me use it again. All right, here we go. Finally, why did that take so long? Oh my God. As we made our way back through the deeper parts of this cavern, I now had to deal with more spiders. Oh my God, spiders, dude. I don't like spiders. And they teleport, teleporting spiders or phasing spiders. I don't know, man. Hey, as long as they're over there, that's fine. Being back inside the same cavern, what I didn't expect in the slightest was a big boss fight. Uh oh, uh oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, this is going to be tricky, but here's what we're going to do. Hit the bridge, hit the bridge, hit the bridge. Yeah, buddy. All right. Woo! Holy crap, that scared me. All right, that makes more sense. We gotta kill this thing first. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! -ho! Big one's dead, big one's dead. Now we just gotta kill a little one. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this was so scary. 
I mean, I don't know why I did the boxes, I'm gonna be honest with you, but still. Taking a look at the map to see what else we had left, the last two places to conquer was either between the Mountain Pass or the Underdark. And so, it was time to visit the Underdark and see what awaited us. Traveling through the Underdark, all right. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Woo, look at this Minotaur. What is happening? Jeez, these things, can they be powered down? I mean, maybe we shouldn't do that though, you know? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, I figured as much, I figured as much, I figured as much. A bit of an issue here I did run into was with my character and his outfit. The thing was so bugged, it left me a little naked until the outfit actually came back. Figuring out where to go next in this place, it led me walking down some broken bars that was housed by some stone soldiers. Oh, what's happening? Okay, we gotta watch those. What the fudge? Poof of smoke? Something happened here. What is that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. um, am I gonna die? <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, petrified. That's good. Ninety damage. Nice. How is this thing able to just attack like that? Like that's crazy. Please kill him. Crit all the crits. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Winning what seemed to be the craziest fight yet, we were greeted with those soldiers before us. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh, no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! I was ready for the hardest part, making sure we didn't touch any of the traps ahead of us. This place is so scary, it keeps blowing up. I don't like it. With this creature inches away from us, just lurking around aimlessly, all I saw was free experience. Whoa! You let, what the heck? Oh great, I hope there aren't any spiders around. So for this next part, I was going to have to avoid all these weird looking turrets. Unfortunately, I didn't clue in fast enough that we were supposed to attack the turrets in order for them to stop zapping us. That meant my companions and my character would have to suffer a little bit longer as we did our best to avoid them. With everyone still alive by the grace of gods, I had no idea where to go next. Through a window? No. Activate some sort of switches or a light? Maybe a lantern? Not a chance. Then it hit me. What if I could get Gale to turn these turrets off? Because I tried everything from range to melee and it just didn't work. What about magic? Let's try this out. Wait, is it, are we good? Oh, that did work. Holy crap. Oh crap. Wait, is that good? No, that can't hit me. Okay, we're good. Ta-da! As much time as it did take me to get inside the tower, we still had two more turrets to deal with. Oh, water does work. Okay, so water and lightning for these things. Wicked. With all that said and done, we stood around for a bit longer, Seems hoping the magical cold. lift would move, or but dormant. no luck. So that led us to looking around and finding a different route leading us outside the tower. All right, it's like I'm lining them up for something. We can jump down here. Ooh, okay. Go down here. Be careful, please. Oh my goodness. Your turn. Personally, I was never great at puzzles, and this game would do a fantastic job at forcing me to figure out what puzzles. This is gonna suck. Looks like we're gonna take a lot of damage from this. Nine damage. All right, buddy. I know that sucked. I honestly meant this too, but with Baldur's Gate 3, they did a fantastic job at teaching you to look at less conventional ways out of a situation. Most of the time, there was like 10 options or 5 options or something just drastic you can choose from. It didn't have to be a, you know, 50-50 of like, 
hit that, shoot this. There were so many ways, so many options you can choose to either get out of a fight, go into a fight, get out of a building, go into a build. There was just so many things you can do. With all that we gained and explored, it gave us enough experience to finally level up here. Level five, this is a big one for me. I've never reached level five. Two spells, ooh. Ooh, look at all the spellage. That sounds amazing. We have the fire hands though, is the thing. I think we have to fix this engine and take it to the top. Oh, yeah, 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 that is the fuel source. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> I've, I don't tip. I don't really play D&D. &D, so it's not like I'm following or know what to do. I'm kind of just like going on, you know, instinct at this point. Oh, and there, everything is turned on now. Oh, that's beautiful. And this is where I think we take the elevator to the, the top floor. Like many times before, this one would definitely be a tough battle. Yes. Wait, can't keep going. Oh, crap. Is it the uh, I'm a friend. I come in peace. I'm not foul or contemptuous, but I'm a foe. An unbeknownst command by foes that would intrude. Now steel shall ring. We false tongue will speak no more. Oh, crap. Okay. What if I just stand right there? My turn. He can't be pushed. They're metal people. Oh my God, there's so many. As you could imagine, I tried everything and more with my arsenal, even with the guy falling to the very bottom of the floor, okay? Okay, we kind of did it. Now we can take care of the little guys for now. Please don't tell me he comes up. Oh, he does come up. Um, And we threw him down all the way. Oh. I'm not gonna say how many times, but we do eventually turn the tides on Bernard. <laughs> Oh, he's stunned. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. I'm just going all out with this guy. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. And hopefully killing you with the one HP again. Holy smokes. Oh my God. <laughs> For as long as I was here, the only thing left to do was travel back from once we came, making sure we went through everything else and other paths we might've missed. Decrepit village. Is it abandoned? I don't think it's abandoned. I think you lied to me. I heard something move. Of oh, I just saw something. Did you see that? There was Let me tell you, we missed quite a bit. As crazy as this guy was, he planned on giving me stuff and I love stuff. We did run into more of these crazed looking men, but not before hearing a cryptic voice in our heads. Hello. Do you hear it too? They're coming. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They are coming. You are coming. Woo! So glad I shot that. Wait, I don't think I can come here. Because this is the exploding stuff, no? I found this next part to be so cool and almost nostalgia-like. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Oh, this looks so good. This feels holy. Consider what the appropriate ritual might be. Grab the sword with both hands and pull. <laughs> the drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone. Oh, oh, oh. Air in this looks offering. so cool. For the life of me, I still forget to this day what these people are called, but we found some strange folks hiding in the fog. We were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices, the harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign oh. expects you. 
The next day, as I finished up my conversation with the Sovereign Spa, we were given one more vision before leaving to our next location. Looking around the map of the grotto, we found Thulla close by, asked of us to kill her and take the boots, but I had other plans for dealing with a situation like this. What happens if I just take the boots? No. Approves, disapproves. Please. Boots of speed. The battle here was heated and filled with dwarfs on different levels of terrain. You just killed yourself, buddy. I um, okay, sure, but <laughs> hey. Seeing that I failed my first quest, but also cleared another, I felt better to help those in the grotto than some murderous dwarfs on a rampage. I couldn't do it. Instead, I found a new way to repay the guy. The rot has been purged. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. I like that name. Fragrant cool. Fragrant waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. Making sure to search every inch of this new area, we came across an open but abandoned cave. A few corpses laying about with something for the taking. Just like the overworld, it was all about revealing more of the map and finding as much experience as I could. That and getting to Baldur's Gate, of course, but that would eventually come. I did find myself having a problem with some swarming toadstool stuff. It was everywhere. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I completely forgot about this stuff. Moments later, we found a hook horror in the hollow, making sure to crouch as we snuck by quietly. I needed the best advantage I could get here. Don't kill him, please. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, he's jumping. Now we're prone. Oh, that one's jumping too. Oh, God. While I was tempted at punching this bird off the cliff, it seemed we would have bigger problems to worry about. Having just a few more creatures in the vicinity, clearing them out, and getting all the experience at the ready, it was time to call it a night. Closing in on Balin, we would have just a few problems up ahead. The biggest one being the green smog wouldn't let us through. At the time, I didn't know it was as simple as just pick up the backpack and throw it to him. But in reality, I made things three times harder. Shadowheart is just not having it about anything. Carlac loves me. Gail wants to have sex with me. Don't want that. No offense. He's a gorgeous man. He's a beautiful human being. But I'm just, you know. With only a few more places to fill in on the map and really explore, the most exciting one had to have been the Wrath. One that the dwarfs wouldn't let us use until now. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Well, that sounds nice and comforting. Okay, let's go. This is really cool. I like this. Look at this. We're going places. Are we leaving? I don't know. The thrill of the ride as we took the raft on the waters would soon come to a stop, unfortunately. You, what are you doing on Gex raft? Uh, I murdered him. Don't mind us. Where's Gek? Who are you? Oh, here we go, here we go. Push him, push him, push him, push him. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. I don't like being through, going through this water, man. Oh, this is so, like, oh. Ings oh my god! This is, this is like the main screen thing, sort of. I mean, it, it, it's got that vibe. There was like two statues coming down. There was lava. There's no staircase there, but still that's really cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, okay. That's so cool. Oh, that is awesome. Look at the architecture, the work on that. Sideways. 
got a welcoming party. You shithead! Time you showed up. We got trouble. Spit it out! Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick. Drugno! The twat soul caused a rockfall. Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Continuing up a set of stairs, we crossed paths with a stonemason named Kith, talking about the history of the place we were standing in, and trying to understand what all the fallen rubble depicted. Who had been here before them? Now taking some time to myself, and looking around all corners within the Grimforge, I was in search for the juiciest of loot left for the taking. Being just a few steps away from a rotting corpse, I did the unthinkable. Uh, I, okay. What kill? Okay. Hold on. I gotta save that. Here we go. Look away, kids. Look away. I got this. Oh, on the dot, too. The head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. All right. She doesn't have to narrate that. Oh, <laughs> the head. <laughs> Do I still get the loop? While speaking with a captive dark elf, he seemed to be more knowledgeable about the lantern and needing one for Moonrise Towers. Making my way back to the raft as we revisited the Underdark, from scaling the side of a cliff and by jumping across this little platform, there would be a portal in front of us that would take us outside. This is when I knew things were getting really serious. What is that? Arcane barrier? Hold on. Knowing that the door to Auntie's lair was still locked, I made it my mission to find a way inside. There must have been something dark and mysterious from keeping us out. That or I missed something very small. Were these here the entire time? What the heck? Maybe this is how we get in. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Wait a minute. Hello, Hamlet. Wait a minute. 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 Let's take that off. Yeah, let's take it off first. Do we have any type of... I need some sort of protection, right? Protection from evil and good. All right, so then... Well, that was rather easy. Although now we had another issue here. Do we have to fight all them or what? Oh, crap. Can I, can I fight? I want to fight. Oh, missile snaring. Nope. The scariest thing we were about to face was myself. Not fully knowing the true power behind these masks really gave me a scare. All right. Stench of rot is a slap to the face. Suddenly she is there, beside you, behind you, inside you. Yes. What are you playing? What's happening? It's that bloody mask. Uh. Oh, I don't like how I have to kill him. No to die. Must get up. Taking another win home and the HP to my team very low, I didn't expect it to be so hard to move just a couple steps. The next day, this part in front of us would give me quite the headache. I took it off in time. I took it off in time. Don't you dare. Okay, now we got to find Granny. I mean, I could try what I did last time, but we got to stand over here first. Facing my worst nightmare as it was for that green fog again. Something I knew little about, but tried anything I could. I tried throwing stuff at it to see if it would give me time to move, but it didn't take. Then I had my team jump across just to see if they'd live through the damage. Oh. No, no, bad idea. Bad, so bad. The only thing that really clicked for me was finding a few of these little red plants in the cloud. Disarming them was the toughest thing to do here because we had one shot from each character to land a perceptive roll, all the while hoping to detect the area needed for the item to then sit on. As the poison cloud was tough enough to get through, Auntie Ethel would prove to be a much bigger obstacle, okay? Ooh, here we go, here we go. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! I 
I'll rip your spine out your asshole. I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. All right. Just get out of here. Love to hear it. Cool. From choosing different skills and abilities to use against her, the battle was going well. Making sure to keep an eye out while looking for the right clone. Can we reach you from there? Oh, you're dead. You're dead. I'm going to just max out. Goodbye. See you never. I did manage to win the fight, which surprised even myself. But something I didn't account for was the burning cage with the girl inside to fall. I'm going to be honest. I think Merida, Mer I think this lady just died. I'm going to have to. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? I got to reset again. Okay. Knowing that I should have played out my choices and continued on here, I decided to turn back time with another reload. Ready for another fight as we looked for the right clones again. This time things took a much better approach and one that showed mercy in her way. So I think we can stop that from burning. Okay, putting that out actually helped. I love that. Wait. Oh, wait just a tick. Hello? Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. I'm still gonna kill but you. It's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Mm -hmm. I have something you want. But the deal. What about my husband? What happens to him? Deals off, you dumb cow. If I ever see you again, you'll have a tentacle for a tongue. Bye-bye, Petal. All we had left to do in this area was find a way out, though we wouldn't be able to save a beloved from Arena. If this was any other playthrough, I, I would easily snap it in two, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna point it towards the coffin. This is why you don't bring the dead back to life. What? What's happening? Why is he still dead? Because he just is a zombie now. That's it. That's what happens. You gonna love a zombie? You Would feel you... something pull at you. Do a zombie? The creature yearns for a master. As we had the quest finished up, that took our travels back through some spider-infested caves and into the blighted village once more. Giving the blacksmith bellows as many temps as I could, we were looking for the right combination. If that wasn't going to work, then possibly selling more items from my inventory would. So back into the grotto it was for us, sifting through our different loot and ending up back inside the emerald grove. This is where I found the perfect dagger to turn. All right, let's try this out again. So if I click the furnace this time, Go here, I think. Wait, uh, put a dagger. Oh! So we could start crafting better weapons like this. Okay. A candy sweet scent wafts forth. The Sousa bark infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The dagger is yours for the taking. All right, new dagger. All that was left to do in these parts, talk to those who guarded the next area we would travel to. Now go. Are we fighting already? Okay. Oh, no, we're not. Sweet. We inspired, guys. Oh, that is so good. Thank you. Oh, God. Quite the intimidating bunch, but ones that did eventually let us through. The permanent thing? Hold on, let me see. Because it says mountain pass. Uh, no, 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 no. We gotta finish up with the Underdark then. I was back inside the Grimforge. With my obsession of wanting to finish quests up, this place would take me quite some time. The first few hours back here, I was lost and losing my mind, trying everything as we searched every single inch to every corner of this place. It landed me back at the decapitated body around these giant doors. Gas filled to the brim of the place. What if I just use a little bit of fire? Maybe we can push it off. 
Ooh. Open the door, open the door. All right, we're free. Now what? Something that did eventually catch my eye was this upper level that looked like there was more there to explore. I did come to find exactly what we needed, which had me following a path into the last area of this place. I was excited, but more so relieved to finally be moving on and progress the, the story. Coming into this little room up ahead, there were skeletons filled with bones, bookshelves filled with spells and books, and a nicely locked door that didn't look suspicious at all. Ooh, that's people. That's a lot of people. Oh, damn. With a new day here and a quest still in need of us, we would press on, using a few switches to get this platform just right. This place was a legit maze that needed my complete focus if I wanted to progress the game. It definitely wasn't my forte, but something I tried my best at. As we made it to the end of the platform finally, grabbing Gale as swiftly as I did, we now had a way to where this quest pointed us. You know, it's a good day when you find a waypoint. Oh, oh. With a few undead soldiers blocking the path here, we would need to make sure the undead soldiers would never move again. Between looting and killing, there was a lot more sightseeing here. This would be the forge itself and something that would allow for greater creations in weaponry and sets of armor. The only catch was, we weren't exactly alone. I'm sure that most of you know by now, and if you don't, well, this is what happened. The lava's coming in. The lava's coming in. The forge is crazy. What is happening? What is that? Oh, there's a beast. Lava man, metal man. Oh my god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Holy crap. Well, he's about to kick my butt. 300! And we're on lava and i bet he's lava resistant oh my goodness all right let me show you the perfect battle i had in what it actually took of me because this fight was insane to say the least and drove me mad for a good few weeks where i needed a break Direct me. Believe me when I say this, I spent way too much time on this one part. It was just so frustrating. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my God. Oh, I've been spending like, I, I think I spent seven hours on this this boss alone on this forge boss oh my god uh I, I didn't even use this anvil thing the smasher thing in the beginning i had someone actually tell me and give me advice to do that and then at this point it was just bludgeoning and i was using the wrong wrong attacks on my actual monk where if you use the base attack it's actually a lot more damage I, I, oh, 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 oh. that marked the day of my happiness in which would allow for me to finally progress the game more finding ourselves needing to get through a bit of lava here there was something up ahead you guys want to see something cool why i really love monk is this this is the reason whip go to pull pull you up to me please or not that works not really but okay blood follows me 
Come on, pull him, pull him, pull him, pull him, pull him, please, please, please. Dang it. Next time. If there is a next time, let's see. Can we kill him? And oh. Hey, that was really easy. What the fudge? Okay. Now I was on to bigger and better things. Like that. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Could I technically hit this guy? Let me see. Oh, I guess not. Hold on. Hello? <laughs> Look at it. Mimic. Oh, Mimic. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good too. Oh, the teeth. Oh. <laughs> it looks so good. Damn. Okay, I love that. Holy crap. And we gotta kill these Mimics. They look so good. Look at that. Hello? Don't you dare. Oh, they stole the weapon. Oh god. <laughs> oh, Slice and Dice is gone. For some reason, as we returned back to the Underdark looking for a way to save Balin, I thought it's smart of me to run through with a torch. So, I don't think we can use the torch because when you use the torch, it actually sets everything up. Oh. This is what happened. Okay, so... <laughs> ah, I think we killed him. I totally think we killed him. While that part of the quest wasn't happening right this moment, there was something else I wanted to look for. A necklace that bared some sort of curse. I'm gonna bring it... Never mind. Hello. The amulet is heavy. <laughs> it holds a subtle warmth. Like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the My beard is also doing something heat. weird. I don't know if you guys have been noticing that. Power and an overwhelming urge to laugh <laughs> can thou endure yeah i can endure oh hey we got it cool all right a 13. you observe the urge to laugh from afar with my big brain and taking time to actually read through the quest we had active, it said for us to just give Bale in his backpack. And let me tell you what I would have given to stop missing stuff like this. I'm so tempted. I want to use this right here. Can I throw it to you? Take your bag. It's yours. Oh, he took it! He took it! He took his bag, guys. Yeah, I gotta leave the hand here. He's gone! Ooh, he used Misty Step 2! Alright, hold on. We gotta go back. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. We did it. Oh, hey, look at this. We got reward. Day 35 would dub the day we finally made it into the mountain pass and the next big chunk of unknown. You're about to progress your adventure. Make sure to type in the loose ends. I hope it, it said the same thing at the other place. I don't know. We'll see. Apparently, this is the mountain, the mountain pass. So never experienced, never been here. This should be so cool. And so far, it is beautiful. I can't see a thing. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of blood over here. Hello. In a big cave. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Not even 30 minutes in, and I was already dying and getting really upset with these undead creatures. Certain creatures would die to be revived again. Some would hit me in battle and create this Medusa effect. Others were just this bombardment all around us, surrounding us, and killing us. The best I could honestly come up with at this point was trying out a different path to see if I could take a different approach. Thankfully, I would learn that sometimes a different path or finding another point of interest would do just that. Oh, who is this? This is Lady Esther. Hello. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. Hello. I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Look, it's just an egg. Perhaps you'd be willing to help then, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, 
But surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. Yeah, and sure. Once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Purloin an egg? What does that even be mean? Well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Sure thing. Get the Yankee egg. Here I come. Cool. Now let's kill her. Let's kill her dead. One Do we need her? Speak with animal, please. Oh, I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shove off. Someone steal something for you. Do I look like a bloody tour guide? <laughs> Maybe. Is the roof the best nest spot on the whole Chion Far? Well, I got there first, too, before the thieves showed up. The thieves? I can't help but notice you have a nest right here. Steal. Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest, prey, everything. That's how it works here. Not on top of the monastery, they don't. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. <laughs> you kill an eagle? I could do it. Mm -hmm. But if you think you can, I know I can. Please, please kill the eagles. They're the worst. Hey, soldier, I. Well, I'm not feeling so good. She's really burning up, actually. Or she looks hot. My engine. No pun intended. It's getting worse. <laughs> Feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. <sighs> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. Learning that Karlak was starting to feel more in pain and become distressed, the quest was now to find Damon and fix her up from burning too hot. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Owl Bear down below. I also learned that if you shot down a boarded up wall and jumped to the other side, bad stuff would happen. I didn't. Oh god, are these cats? Remish. Okay, maybe I should jump back on over. Is that gonna kill you guys? Oh. Yeah, all these little things are are dead. I don't know what they really are, but okay. This would also be my favorite day. A new level up, which involved a lot more this time. While climbing around the top side of this enormous castle, there were vines and all sorts of greenery growing everywhere. Finding what looked to be a few giant eagles perched over top, the same ones that bothered our blue feathery friend. But it says they want to talk. They're not red. Normally, if the you know, if it was situation Mother! <laughs> the plot one it speaks to me help <laughs> uh. what a terrible idea get away wait are we what hello no Ew, it smells and it oh we're just okay you know what i didn't want to attack you guys but now i will just kill the bird <laughs> Look at that reinforcements. What reinforcements? Get out of here with that. What? Get that soft shiz out here. Unless they're still coming, then don't. Glorious. Feathers bloody everywhere, mate. <sighs> Feels good to be home in my nest. Oh, tell you what. When I escaped the eagles, I spotted something buried near that ferry dock. Might be worth a look. <laughs> fall to death uh can i survive this fall you think i'll make it i can make it watch this i'll make it Whee! but wait look at that we have one hp as i continued through more of the castle the next day we learned early on that breakable walls meant trouble oh hello there crumbling wall um boom baby oh wait wait, wait. he's level oh my god level seven Guardian, permanently armed creature cannot be disarmed. Break back at the next enemy that attacks you. Retaliation. Oh my god. Hello. Hello, sir. Oh, that's some good damage. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Wait, can I do this again? Oh, no way. Yes, no way. Uh, reckless? 
Oh, baby, we did it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Turns out I was slowly becoming stronger than I thought I was. That, and we found another room filled with stained glass. What almost seemed to be a certain society called the Dawn Masters. Just before ending the night, I was extremely curious about the new update. A mirror that could change your appearance and actually located in the camp. There was something over there. Give me just a second. Oh, you can. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's so good. Okay, I'm going to change the tattoo finally. Something I do want to say right now and as early on as I can, when I was creating my character and choosing my race, apparently I chose female. Then I went to the next screen. At the next screen, I was like, why does my character look so female? And I was like, oh, I'm going to change it to male. But the character initially was female. I didn't actually change the sex of it. I just made it look like a male on a... There is so confusing. <laughs> Making my rounds again, the statue with a piercing voice caught my eye. Or rather, my ear. Stand your ground! What? Thunder, forgive me. We have to fire the lance. Hello? <sighs> Talking statues are never a good sign. The Githanki stronghold was massive and a sight to bear. That and the most random occurrences would happen while roaming the area. Uh... Is he drunk? What? <laughs> you supposed to fight these guys? Oh, they're all drunk. I don't know if I want to fight that. <laughs> what I found so funny was running into more of these drunken creatures. You could hear the little drinking noises coming from barrels around the winery. Feeling like we covered most things inside the castle, I felt it was time to see what the crush had or wanted of us. Sentries to arms! Istic, state your purpose quickly. You've talked to one of our Queen's Silver Knights and hold the lost weapon. Prove it, Istik. If you are lying, it'll be a painful death. The Inquisitor is deeper in the crash. Report to the captain. She will take you to the Inquisitor. Noticing the big chief up ahead as we started talking to him, rolling for a chance to see certain dialogue. We are training to fight Gake. You think they will hesitate? They won't need to if we keep killing each other for them. I it's stupid. Orphe... Silence. It seems your child is prattling, is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? I suppose your inane spewings have distracted enough from my lesson. <clears throat> Go at the swords. I want them sharp enough to peel a geek's eyeball just by looking at them. I hope you prove as weak uh, as this your cape, we buddy. meet on the battlefield. <laughs> What's happening with the cape? As we continued on, there was a painting close by that gave me quite the idea. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. I wonder what we're going to draw. Do I get to choose? Oh. Someone's coming. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> take a moment to Look at fully it. Appreciate your masterpiece. Moments later, I found the next objective that would need finding and stealing an egg for a certain someone. Do not approach the egg, Istik. It is strictly forbidden. Oh, I want an egg. Green egg. I think I got it. An uneven shell. I think I got it. You can see a vague outline of something within it. Reach out and touch the egg, pick it up gingerly and stow it in your pack, crush the egg. If that wasn't juicy enough, this next door into a new room would truly teach us how strong those illicit tadpoles really were. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. So you're conscious of your infection. It's showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. You pour yourself into the tadpole's putrid magic. Its strength multiplied. It unleashes on the machine. The two forces fuse violently together, your brain their conduit. Your body and mind drift apart. You are being undone. This is the scariest thing ever. 
<laughs> okay. Am I alive? The room swims back into focus. Your mind is intact, yet unfamiliar. No. No! The Z disc! What have you done? You said you could fix me. My life's work gone. And yet you live. And so does your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Hmm. The Zathisk must have damaged you when it was destroyed. Frustrating. I should have liked to have found out what happened. But I have no use for gibbering idiots. Leave me. I was ready for a fight. Not knowing if that's what I actually wanted, I did it anyways. So while dealing and dishing out damage, it wouldn't be a party if more Githyanki joined the fight, which meant I would accidentally hit the reload button and try, try again. This go around, I used barrels to block the entryway just in case and continued on with round two. What I didn't realize though was Shadowheart's fear towards wolves and giving me a big disadvantage. There we go, finally a 42, like that's insane. Oh, ho, ho, ho. big boy crit, okay. Thank goodness. Ooh, wee, okay. As we finally had the gemstone in our pockets to progress further, it was time we met with the one and only in what seemed to be our match, the so-called Githyanki God. Inquisitor Wawargaz was potent. We are in... Sweet. What this happened? <laughs> Who is this? You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. Yo, this is Black Kiss. Uh, stay standing just as you are. Wave politely. <laughs> I love that. Which is ours. But are you friend or are you thief? I didn't steal, it just found me. Hmm. Hmm. At least you brought it back. It is a start. We will test you to assess whether you deserve reward or punishment. The astral prison. It is corrupted. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the grand design, sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Illithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Ooh, this is getting, this is getting really good. Find the one inside and kill him. Be aware, they are not alone, and they will appeal to your trust. They are not to be believed. Oh, this is... You must Ooh. accept. All that was left to do here was activate the prism and visit the dream world. Heat pulses out of the astral prism as it begins to flower. This is cool. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Ooh. Is this like the astral plane? Oh, this is okay. This is a dream. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki, but you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? And now, you've come here to murder me. I already told you I protect you, that I saved you, that I'm just like you. If this was not enough to convince you, what more is there to say? 
It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Doesn't mean I trust her Lacketh yet. will be furious to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. How about you tell me about it, hmm? What could possibly, yeah, what could you possibly know to bring her down? If she is such a threat to her, why hasn't she killed you already? Well, I guess technically she's in the dream world and Vlacketh can't get into, I don't know. But that very power, the power to resist illicit control, which Vlacketh only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. Ooh, ooh I okay. I hoped to extract it from my corpse. Any type of secret, Since I guess. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. As do I. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to face Blackith's wrath. The entire crash stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. Could I, could I go to camp first? Could what I get a little heal? Back to our travels the next day, we had an arrangement to deliver a Githyanki egg. Thank you. Paying up front seems to have had its benefits. A pleasure to do business with you. Oh, I mean, it doesn't look great, but whatever. We have new quarter staff. New quarter staff. That's so cool. Oh, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Our damage went up. Our dex is getting there, man. Holy crap. Having everything we planned on doing finally accomplished, we were about to enter the deep, dark depths of the mountain pass. <gasps> it's another wizard. Cheer up. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? It's Gandalf! Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Gandalf, Elf, that great. The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Meet Elminster Ormar. Elminster. Good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me gale you know of whom i speak but why out with it oh Elminster. it's the one he's in love with please i know it young man has your sojourn away from waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience nigh a ten day i've gone without honest fare worthy of the name drank naught but what the sky entitled my thirst why some bread Cheese and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. Oh, for the love of... Uh, this way then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, Mistress' delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. What I didn't know at the time, though, is that this was actually taking me from Act 1 into Act 2. I served Flacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. As we awoke, Shadowheart came to us. I didn't expect Glazel to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. Wonders never cease. Surprised about Lazel able to turn so quickly on her own people, or even Vlacketh, I was shocked myself. 
To get my mind off of things, I brought both Lazelle and Astarian back on my team to give them a level up. The first thing that happened as we moved on to Act 2, and again, something I didn't know about at the time, was having met a little goblet, asking us about a true soul and informing us on their encampment close by. Wait a minute. Oh, we got Shadow Curse? Whoa, 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 what? Shadow Curse is a powerful threat that lurks and devours in darkness. Surround yourself with light to avoid the most lethal effects. Oh, crud. Oh, I think we all have to have lights. Wait, can I actually go up these things? Oh, this was a way to get up and down. Okay, I didn't realize those were pathways. Hey, boy. You want the bone? Fetch! <laughs> <laughs> you see that blight echo? Swallowed all by the shadow curse. Bet it was pure tasty. One last thing. Go and fetch the bone you threw. <laughs> oh, illithid. Go on. Fetch. <laughs> Man, they really go dark with this. Yeah, good one. True soul. An honor. Hey. Did you bring the liar? Uh, why do you need a liar exactly? We were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her liar to summon a guide through the darkness. Learning that we would need someone with a leer, this next part scared the actual boots off me, okay? This thing was terrifying. Cool, but terrifying. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Your silent greeting hangs in the air a moment, unanswered. Then, from the dark... Ooh, is that a spider thing? Yes. I hear them, your majesty. Calling us. Oh, God. I don't oh, like that. Damned. Someone pinch me. Please. I'd really love to wake up from this nightmare. Me too, man. In the Absolute's name, you have been charged with guiding us. New flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to a true soul. Well, here goes nothing, I, I guess. Oh, God. Look at that thing. Look at it. Oh, <laughs> it is so creepy. I don't like it, but I also do. Hello. And you, what are you? More faithful of the absolute. They need a guide to the tower, same as us. Your minds connect and you hear a whispered voice. The absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul. You have more worshippers every day, Majesty. <laughs> yes. Yes. They'll do nicely. Are we about to die? <laughs> what the fudge? We literally stay in this light or we die. Die trying. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> there was no way I was about to fight every single person here, let alone Karnas. Wait, we could totally kill this guy. Oh, I didn't realize you could do that. I'd have to plan out and actually strategize my next move, surprisingly. Oh, another cutscene. Okay. Oh, dang. Pintara? Playtime's over. Oh, Mizora. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress. Moonrise Towers. 
and you're getting him out. We are? Okay. Well, your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. <clears throat> Clause Z, section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. The thing about me, though, is I wanted my own lantern to explore all we could without having to worry about someone else leading us from point A to point B. Please, let's see if we can kill it. Oh. He's gonna attack. Oh, that was it? No way. Ho ho ho. Oh, look at this. Seek protection from the shadow curse. Who needs protection when you have the moon lantern? Oh, and then a cruel sting. Can't believe it. Gives off a chilly glow look at that. Look at that. We got it. All in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. Oh, please. Oh, golly. Me, oh, my. You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. The third sundering it is. No, no, no. What made it the coolest day ever was having our very own moon lantern. Wonder how I got that. Allowing for me to travel wherever and whenever. No one holding this orc's hand, let me tell you. Oh, we can go down this way. No way. Okay, cool. This place is massive. Oh, smell a trap. Yo, there's so many red blighty things over here. I'm not sure I like that. The last thing I expected was for the shadow creatures to be lurking in the dark. Needles on thrall. Not good, not good, not good. Oh god, big guy, big guy, big guy. Fireball. Oh, we won. Somehow. Though as easy as they were, we had to be on our toes now about what came next. With quite the road ahead of us, this gave me time to venture out forth and see what these lands really had. Before I knew it, there were lights straight ahead with this aura protecting some sort of camp from any darkness. It seemed like as good a place as any to take shelter. Ooh! No shadows! Look at this! What the heck? We got cool people! You there! Oh, wait, wait, it's fine, it's fine! Step forward! Wait, wait, no, no, no! Keep your hands off your weapons. Just keep your hands where I can see them. And follow me. Come. Jahira. Now, who is this? Oh, hello. Do I know you? Oh, that's stare. Just this once, I wish people would say hello. Hello. You're about to. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Down. 
I'm not interested in the Absolute's manipulations. Harpers, cut this true soul down. Too late. All right. Well, how many were we fighting? What's Hello? He doing? Oh! She's the one who saved us. Oh! Oh my She's God! She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet too. I pretty much trust her with my life. Are you keep saying her. With a mind of her own? Why, why are they How calling me a her? I don't like that. Mm. <laughs> I'm not a her, okay? As I ventured around perusing through more stuff, we ended up talking with a few poor souls, selling off more junk to the same tiefling, and then made our way to Jahira. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my gods. To your very good health. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. Just before calling it a night in the last light in, we bumped into another friend. Well, actually two. Oh, it's Raphael. Holy crap. You trap me. Having rested with a new day upon us, I did a little bit of rummaging through everyone's belongings before finding this beaming of light lady. Whoa, what is she doing out here? Hello? She's cool. Oh, I like her. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, who is this? Hello. Hello, Isabel. Marcus. Hello? Is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. To go, Isabel. What the heck are these things? Oh my god. Are, you, are we about we're about to fall? Oh my god. Look, look at this place. We gotta kill him fast then, huh? Ah, this I could do. Goodbye. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Isabel, are you alright? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. Finding a new area to explore now, this little hatch located in a dark and infested home, it led us into a Good. cellar of sorts. Oh yeah, disarm that bad boy. Now we gotta unlock it, but we cannot do it, so I pick it up and I give it to my best friend ever. <laughs> She's just gonna have all the chests. Initially in my mind, I figured maybe three or four of them were close by, not eight of them. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, that kind of freaks me out. These things are re oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, damn. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh, my God. Look at us. We're like, we had to fight a lot. Of I didn't even realize there was that many. Don't say a word. Hello? Just oh, Lazelle. 
I'm listening. Listen quietly. A parasite grips my mind. My own people hunt me. But I am gnawed by an even greater torment. Which is? You. My thoughts are hallowed ground. Yet you've crawled your way in. Uninvited. I'm gonna put you prone, because that's the dirty way to do it. Hope your soul is in good hands. Martial artist. Lazel's touch is unusually gentle. Her fingers lightly graze your bruises and wipe away your sweat. No more. I can't bear it. Hey, what? What? I don't. Torn flesh from monsters and men. I've laughed as they suffered. All right. But you. Me. I don't want to hurt you. I want to protect you. Aww. <laughs> For you to protect me. I am yours. Arlac noticed the conversation we shared with Lizelle, which meant we needed to reaffirm Karlak that she was ours. Oh, thank the gods. Oh, I thought I was losing you for a second there. Not sure this old hunk of junk I call a hawk can take any more damage. Oh. <laughs> I'll leave it to you to deal with Lizelle. She'll be all right. Nothing can bring that woman down. Not even you. Afterwards, it was back to exploring the cavern some more, finding anything to loot and take with us. Moments later, as we were selling our wares, I realized as I was literally editing this part and looking at the game that the adding item to wares option was amazing. You could just hit sell wares and anything you locked in would sell just like that. Holy crap. Seeing that we spent enough time in the inn, it was back on the shadowy path for us, finding what looked to be a battlefield full of corpses and something up ahead ready for another ambush. With every inch and every step we took, there was always something new waiting for us right around the corner. Tread carefully. You are still necessary. Ooh, secret! But first, wait here, I go up. Oh no, you can't go up. Okay. I was astonished with how easy the fight was, but truth be told, if you had the lantern, things actually came really easy. Devastated with the mistake I made from day one somehow, I had to see if there was any way to change the sex of my orc. Traveling more lands of this decrepit place, I was startled by what I saw here. Twist him up. <laughs> what the? What the fudge? Wait. That's Arabella, is it not? Looks like she's got some new weave up her sleeve. Revealing more of the fog from the map, we found the House of Healing, a place I remembered actually watching back in the hype trailer of Baldur's Gate 3. While most of the inside was either ransacked or just old from age, we found another sigil close by. I literally went to dig a grave. What? Our hero thought but a treasure ahead. Did not consider the peace of the dead. Hello again, Through Raphael. The dark, she went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which she herself fed. Well, that's not good. Ooh, <laughs> this creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? What are we talking here? Lemia? Pit Fiend? Orthon? Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Just as we approached the morgue in front of us, we had a few enemies to take care of. Normally, I would show this sort of thing, but having the Moon Lantern really did give us the upper hand as we made quick work of them all. From piles of bones and corpses everywhere, we did come across another hidden wall. I loved me some secrets. With the next room, the problem here wasn't so much the creatures we would fight, it was more so the poison gas we would have to deal with. Killing them was easy, but what honestly made me go insane and even rage a little 
or or lot my team was being douches I've, I've got stronger words i could use but for now we'll go with douches as we were out and about again this pathway in front of us would give us such a great view into the next big battle later on look at the absolute Ooh, it looks so good Oh, there's so many things happening. With a new day here, we were back inside the House of Healing, getting all excited to try something new. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel led journey that leads from pain. To Ow! Peace. Oh! What the fuck is this loon talking about? The scalpel does not discriminate. Let each and every one of you partake in its soothing journey. Please do. Absent sisters, acquaint yourselves. <laughs> yeah, they're going for it. We got him. We got him fighting us. <laughs> when one sees one's teachings so lovingly taken to heart. You are to be commended for their graduation, rewarded with the promised cure. Your diligence is exemplary. Very well. Your own scalpel you will be. Observe, then succeed me Ooh. into the sucker of Shah. You got it. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna do it! Oh! That's, that's how you do it, man. This is the first time I've ever done this. Had a, had a, a literal boss just take their own life. Oh my god. And we got the experience. Ooh. It felt so good to finally have a dialogue play out the way you wanted it to. That and to not have to fight for hours and hours again. This would mark the day as Raphael warned us, pleading and asking for us not to go inside. Between looting vases and trying to figure out where to go next, the puzzles and traps in this tomb were pretty tamed. Uncovering them as we got closer and finding a few buttons under some stone murals, asking of us to repeat the proper order to get through. Get it wrong, and a film of black smoke would appear. Get it right, and that would allow us to progress. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Everybody jump on. Come on. It's a full-on cutscene, too. Oh, here we go. Apparently, the creatures of these lands were not done trying to ambush us. Here we go. I'm going to try attacking this thing. That was a nice critical hit. Holy smokes. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good crit. That was a really good crit. Out of the game, buddy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the crit. Yo, that was 220 experience for that entire thing. Holy crap. I mean, we did. That's a level eight. We just killed a level eight thing. Okay. Let's be honest here. Between that big fight and talking with some creepy and very intelligent rats, I got a little over my head here. Oh, I gotta get rid of them. Oh my god, the portals just keep coming. If going in head first wouldn't work, I needed to find a new vantage point. One that had us standing in front of two doors. The first being filled with loot galore to gather and take with us. The next door having the big bad. Balthazar, look at him. Ooh, and look at that thing behind him. Oh my ah, gosh. The interloper. Hey. And in one piece as well. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. I fought a battle right under your nose. Whoever you are, some help would have been useful. Do you truly expect your betters to sully their hands to aid you at every turn, true soul? Such a poor grasp of hierarchy. But never mind. Your potential may outweigh your ignorance. I am Balthazar, chief advisor to General Thorne and entrusted with a mission of utmost importance. Do you know what is at stake here? Your life, I think. There is a relic here, one which General Thorne desires. No, needs. I will retrieve it for him, and you will help me. Ignorant 
you may be, you've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. Fine. I will assign flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. Jeez, look at this thing. Ooh. Balthazar was quite the demonic creature and one we would have to slay in the next coming days. Though for now we parted ways with him, having his brother the flesh, and found a new battle to take part in. You do not belong here. Your mind upends. Somehow in the decayed soup of this creature's brain, a tadpole lives. Another presence nurtures it, manipulates it like a puppet. No, you do not belong. This is the Dark Lady's house. She is no use for old, faithless bones. You plunder! You meddle! You upset my plans. Leave. Knowing what needed to be done, we would have to destroy the Tremors first, killing off any leftover enemies in the vicinity. I can't tell you how close I was at taking the bait here. Oh, oh, that's a displacer beast. What the fudge? Yo, 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 yo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever seen that. And like, look at that throne over there. Oh my god. What am I about? Oh my god. So as my big brain kicked in and we parted ways for a bit, that led us to looting more chests for anything of use, gathering more coins along the way, and then coming across the biggest of traps set for us. There's something out there. Whoa! Your your gear? Your your gear. Oh my god, that's Orthon. And then oh, there's the illicit the displacer beast. Oh okay, we gotta kill that dude first. So how are we gonna do this? I'm saving it. I'm preparing because I, I don't know what to expect. So fire immunity is nullified. So that's okay. Cold resistant is also not good. So cold and fire, not good. Poison, not good. Cold fire, that not good. Hello, guys. You see me? <laughs> they saw us. They are surprised. This first fight was more so a test, but man, did I get stomped hard. My next attempt, I wanted more bodies on my side, so I summoned a magical helper, then tried out a new skill. I'm gonna take him and throw it right here, because he's still there. Or not. Okay, maybe, maybe he is not. Wow, they actually hit pretty hard. I did not think that would work, but it did. Apparently, lightning was the way to go and something that would come in handy later down the road. Holy crap, we just killed three of them and we did like almost half damage there. Oh, that is beautiful. My next attempt, I actually did something great and that was get a few kills of those smaller foes, but use the misty step to back myself into a corner. Don't know why I did that, but I did it. Here we go. Trying yet again, and this time having to fight a few more displacer beasts than I originally planned for. No way I could mess up another turn, right? Wrong. I thought it'd be a great idea to move my team to the other side so they were spread out more. I even got so far to defeating the displacer beast and the boss, thinking that nothing else could go wrong. It's, it's great that they each get two hits, you know? It's, it's so cool. You, you gotta love it. A few more attempts in, and I was about to call it until I thought back to something Balthazar said. Ring this bell, and he will come. So this was it. My last and final attempt. Okay, there's still surprise. This is good. This is good. This is good. Um, we're gonna go over here. Actually, yeah, I guess we're going there. Uh, let's use cast. And then, can we also use this? Ooh. I just hope they don't kill me. Oh, I mean, still pretty cool, though. Okay, okay. Ho -ho. Can we do another one of those, please? I won't give in. All right. Um. Oh, wait, thunder, thunder, thunder. That's good. Okay. Hopefully this cat's still surprised. Because we need to make our guys run back. I might have to keep her there, though, which is unfortunate. I want to blow up those bombs. 
There's no way that's happening again. Oh, I'm so sorry, Karlak. I want to do it so badly, but I won't. Oh, fine. Okay, I need this flesh guy to, like, kill three of them right now. <laughs> Ooh, okay, thank you. Thank you for raging. Gosh. Wait, but it's red now. That It's like, it's looking angry at me. It's threatened? Okay, just don't get close to it. Okay, maybe we want to get it low so we can kill it afterwards. Close to being done, though. Catch my breath. Oh, we win! Oh, that took way too long. Oh my god. Like, actually. Whoa. Ooh, look at the Hellfire Hand crossbow. Possibly in fact burning when hitting a creature. Ooh, I'm gonna give that to my dude. As happy as I was winning what was probably the longest fight and more infuriating one than ever, I had to press on. I didn't want to stay here any longer than I had to in this place. With that in mind, we still needed to gather gems and complete three trials. It wouldn't be a Ray of Pandas video if not for doing all those trials though in reverse. The bowl contains an ancient rust-colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc as if spilled calmly and willingly. This is one of Lady Shah's trials. Allow me. Oh gosh, we're actually sacrificing the uh, blood? Okay, here you go. Mm. Oh god. It teaches us that we are our own worst enemy much of the time. Her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back. Which, which is blood? Blood's holding us back? What? What is this? Oh god. I heard something. Oh. Shadow. What the fudge? Yo. Hey, hold on. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Yo, we got to kill one of these. Just out of you. I'm going to hit myself because, or well, Gale. We're fighting ourselves, which I don't like the look of. Although this guy has no hair. So, okay. You went invisible. Here we go again. Oh, that was supposed to pull you. Oh, dang. A little bit of this. A little bit of, a little bit of that. What? Get out of here. Go again. Okay, cool. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, we got the first one down. Okay. Aha! Get countered, son. Should end you, too. Cool. We got to run away from this guy. Oh, ho, ho. one hit. Here we got one more guy. Where he at though? Ah, thank goodness. But that's one thing I loved about Baldur's Gate 3. It didn't have to make sense and I could have fun in all the chaos. Seeing that our inventory was getting a little full, it felt like the right time to make some pit stops. Any merchants I could find and sell all we had, I did. On top of all that, we actually picked up a few upgrades and some more potions along the way. As for the next trial, this one had Shadowheart sacrificing some of her blood to get inside. The trial was a little game of can't see me. This is the perfect mission for sneaky peeky. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Please save me, please save me, please save me. Did I just touch it? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I think that... Yeah, 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 yeah. It did work. As for the last trial, this one felt hard initially. But once I realized Gale had the ability to fly... <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I know this might be a little cheaty doodle, but can I fly? It's part of the game, man. It's part of the game. Whee! <laughs> you ready? Woo! All right, we did it, guys. We freaking did it. Oh, that's great. Okay. Oh, okay. This makes more sense now. Ba -ba -da -ba. Successfully entered. Wait. Hello? Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. I don't believe for a second. Maybe this one? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. To the next part of Shah's gauntlet. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. This is cool. Oh, oh, that's where we were trying to go. Okay, and we got the other two orbs for this place. See, now it makes a little more sense. Okay, okay, okay. 
I got this. I got this. I got. Wait, do we need three? Woo! We got it. Hey. <laughs> The Shadowfell entrance was about to become the most interesting place with a lot of spicy deaths. Feel your mind slip into shadow hearts. But you are not the only one present. There is another. Ancient, commanding, rendered from purest darkness. Shah. Take my spear. Step forward and strike down the Selunite. Please. How many breathed their last just so we could make it this far? Trust me. This will help us. Just remember what I said. Let me do what I need. Again, I, I can't. You need to move the shoulder out of the way. <laughs> All right, here we go. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. <laughs> Feel her all around. This is her domain. This is the Shadow Fell. You did well. Better than I would have credited you with. Now, hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. Oh, very well, then. My sincere thanks. While finding each point of interest to jump down on, Balthazar was standing in front of someone. Someone I didn't recognize or know. Balthazar. Come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would-be Justicia's blade directly to my heart? I invite you. Keep more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time, and you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aelin. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorn, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thorne. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. This, though, is where my patience would truly be tested because of the amount of enemies I was told to fight and Balthazar himself. So if we kill him, we kill all of them, right? Let's hope so. Did you really just push her off? Oh, you are a son of a- The craziest thing about this battle is that it felt more like a chess match. Every move mattered and counted. One wrong move could mess up the entire play. So what are you... So it's just that. Okay, so I can use anything, basically. Although... I feel like we need to get rid of some of these, you yeah, know? Don't kick them off. Well, reload. Okay. Quite a few more tries in and we found it. The one reload. Yes, I did reload a few times here. That would save my people from dying. Oh, we literally just wrecked his holy crap. That was beautiful. Okay. Oh, I guess the boss is done. 
Woo! That helps a whole heck of a lot. Whoa! <laughs> big crits, big crits. We get the big crits out here. While the big bad was finally defeated, all the big soldiers were taken care of. We had just a few more skeletons to clean up before talking to our friend here. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> a pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. You don't have to be the darkness anymore. I can't believe she did that. Oh. Oh. I can't believe I did that. Shah will disown me. Now I'm truly lost. You were already lost, little warrior. A lost child, frightened by wolves. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. Oh. Our Lady of Silver, hear me. She who guides the Moon Maiden Saluna, mother of the so called Night Song, the Night Song is no. This is beautiful. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a staring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said, thus will it be so. Are you ready to kill Catherick Thor? Let's do it. 
<laughs> oh, this is so good. Ooh, that exit. We need to leave. Lady Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. Oh, she's removing all the light or like the, the darkness, the thorns and everything. Moonlight Glaive. Look at that. Forgive me, Shadowheart. You all right? Look at this. This is where we came from. All that I'm from here. Travel to the road. Travel the road to Baldur's Gate. Is that the road to Baldur's Gate? I thought we were supposed to go to Moonrise Towers right here. Assault Moonrise Towers. Having fought our way through so much, the fight was over and now we could finally gather with those at the Moonrise Towers. Or so I thought, but fate would have it another way. Well, these are all level 9. Holy crap. That is scary as balls. Oh, Oh my god, guys, I was concentrating so hard, I'm not even kidding. Two level nines there? Weave, save me. I cannot take much more. Oh god, that was... Whew, wow. While I did need a break from fighting with all that we conquered, there was still so much more waiting right around the corner. What? Oh, ho, ho, hello there. Oh, ho, ho, you're a big one, aren't ya? Holy crap, this is like... If Bane just had a really bad day <laughs> oh my god delight you Let's drink once more. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You want father's personal mysterious secret. Secret. No. Not never. Father said. Talking. What's happening? What's happening? Something's happening. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is he about to blow up? Oh, oh. Oh, that experience we just got. Yo. Very well. Look at this man. He just burst in a worn key. The rat bat. I will take that. Thank you. With one of the biggest and undecided battles up ahead, I wanted to make sure we were ready and that I didn't miss anything else before readying myself here. Oh, there's people here. I just, okay. Okay. Level six, level five. Ah, oh, shouldn't be too bad. Hit. Woohoo, big old hit. All right. You love to see it. There you are. What's happening out there? Who was that streaking across the sky? An immortal, but it couldn't possibly be. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have him in a corner. Jahira and every fighting body in this place have gone to Moonrise Towers to face Ketherick down. She's waiting for you there. 
End this. Now. We're all counting on you. Knowing that the Moonrise Tower in front of us would be the next and major part of the questline, I had a few more places to uncover on the map. One being a toll house and a few other places that were still covered up by the fog. The toll house was definitely a doozy because I had no idea what to expect. As we entered the area, all I could hear was the sound of coins dropping from the floor above us. Ooh, look at the little gold! Uh oh. Oh no. What do you bring? So what I'm gonna try first is giving you gold. Just lots of gold. At first, I tried giving this creature coins, as many as I could. Since no progress was being made, I continued to look around for any clues throughout the place, finding another secret button to the side of this bookcase, which had pieces of loot scattered all over the basement floor. If giving coins to the so-called Tollmaster wouldn't work, we had to think outside the box. The only thing I could come up with was striking down those little floating skulls. They'd either run away or call for help, which didn't help me at all. Though as we started the fight with the Tollmaster, I began to notice something strange happening. With every death of a skull, its armor would fall off, losing massive amounts of HP. This would happen a few times before something magical bestowed itself upon me. 6 HP! Oh, you about to die! What? Hello? No, no, no. Woo! Look at that! We did it, guys! We finally did it! That only took what? I think like two and a half, I'd say three days tops. All that was left for us to do inside the house was unlock a safe with a good chunk of coin inside and find out where this key went to. Having unlocked that very same door, there were chests full of loot for us to take. Do we, do we attack it? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Where'd you go? Button, button, please. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> Secret button. I've got it. Running around the map some more, I found a little child wanting to play a game. It was an odd one who seemed to be alone. So letting him hide as we started a round of hide and seek, truth be told, I didn't really follow through with finding him and just continued searching through the scraps around. Whoa, look at that stuffed owl bear toy. And I made the thing owl bear. That's so cool. Uh, I like that. Okay. We did come across another familiar face down by a dock. Roland was in trouble and needed our help with a few shadows, making sure that he would get back safely to the inn. Between all the loot on the bridge from the corpses and that of the chests I found, I was in desperate need of selling to a merchant. Unfortunately for me, I was too far in and would have to continue the story that laid in front of us. I wanted to pick stuff up, but the cutscene happened. So here we go. From shadows. This is rise in moonlight Moonrise glory, Towers. And carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop. In the first line of defense are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy. And if we wait too long, Catherick will gather his strength and retaliate. For now, though, he's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. This is it. The spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed? No, 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 I like that. A sound strategy. Once it's done, me and my harpers will hold the ground floor while you hunt down the general himself. Floric left some of her flaming fist. They'll scout the prisons and the barracks below to ensure we're not taken by surprise. Say the word, and we're off. With that in mind, this next battle was something special. It was massive, but so much fun. Both good and evil, either sides fighting one another as we took turns dishing out damage. Sadly, Jahira was murdered, but with many people falling to the blade or a spell, we wound it up winning the fight. Or uh, wait, could I hit him? Hit him. Come on. Yes! Sight in that oh Bring my gosh. Potent magic. The loot from all those who had fell was great, but making it this far in Baldur's Gate 3 was even greater. Now having fully rested outside of the tower, we made our way back inside to the top of the stairs, ready for a fight and to put an end to all this madness. Oh, this is it. This is it. Wait, is that him or... Oh my god, it's you. her! What have you done? 
What have you done to me? This would be our first time officially meeting Thorm. A pawn cannot lecture the chosen of the gods. You serve the absolute. You serve me. Bow, you dog. Bow! I really like the voice actor for this one. The prison. You've had it all this time, you worm. You will bow before me. And if you will not bow, you will break. I don't think so. <laughs> That's awesome. You. How good it is to see you again, Ketherick. At last, you found a godmaster that suits you, it seems. Halen, the thief. You stole Isabel from me, and now you think you'll take my life in the bargain? You dare to speak her name? After your crimes innumerable, you would evoke her before me! Enough! This ends here and now, at last. As the fight raged on, from killing skeletons to picking up Gale a few times, we had Thorm on the ropes. My lord beckons me. We had to have won. Come on. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. Oh! What is this? What the heck? You will fall as sure as she. This has only begun. Deciding on where to go next, the road to Baldur's Gate, or following Catheric, I had to make a choice here. The hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. This is an anithid colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. Finding ourselves inside the alithid convoy, we found a cage with something or someone that needed our help. You're very welcome, my freed friend. Continuing to look high and low for this quest of ours, we were in search of a devil. As all of this was going on, we still needed to be careful as everyone was on high alert. Go on, make yourself useful somewhere. If you cannot manage that, just stay out of the way. You won't believe who I found in the last pot. Part of me knew it from the start, but this was almost too funny. By Grazit's cock, it's about time you- Hey, Mizura! Should have known you were lying. Yeah, it was her this entire time. <laughs> oh gosh. Whoa, perish the thought. Every word was nothing less than true. Now, enough sniffing around and get me out of this thing. Do it, and I'll let Will off his leash. A devil always keeps her promises. Your eyes turn to the control panel next to the pod. The controls are open to your tadpoles command. We're just gonna smash Deal. it. Hulk smash! Here we go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. Trying my hand a few times with a bunch of ghouls to hook horrors and a death shepherd, the experience from this definitely would have benefited me, but the amount of creatures that would constantly bombard us left me feeling so overwhelmed. Picking up a little healing here just before heading down on some sort of lift, we would catch a glimpse into who was behind everything. Whoa, look at all these people. You said it was under control. 
It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker. Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood. Who is this? She looks hot as mmm. Oh. a failure. Like flies on lick wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. Ooh. These guys are awesome. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, oh, Heather, oh, oh, oh. might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. Look at them. Oh, oh, oh. Edict of Bane. The Lash of Thor. What are they calling forth? Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. That's like a big brain bow. Or, oh my god. Never mind. I don't know what that is. The Testament of Merkel. An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. She's the elder brain? What the heck? It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. Something I had to try for myself here was certain dialogue that Gail had. Honestly, I say we go out with a bang. Let's do it. One last gust of weave. One last gale to end them all. No. I just want to see what happens, you know? Beneath the smoking ashes of Moonrise Towers, the Elder Brain lies destroyed. But what of the tadpoles it commanded? Free. It is an ending. Oh, you literally beat the game when you... Okay. Don't get me wrong. There will definitely be a future video into my next Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough here. But this was one of the hardest challenges. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the absolute. Whom preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Now. It's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. 
Ooh, this story just keeps getting better and better. Oh my god. This is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Shadowheart inspired and we have to fight Storm. As predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. I will kill you now. And then I will- That song is trapped in Catherick's old cage, but she can be freed from it by using the help action on her. Ooh, wait, where? The soul. Ah, so we got to make our way over there. We did it with the last crit. Oh my god. Oh. What a fool you are. This was so you difficult. Cannot kill me. I am eternal. You are not eternal. Not at all. Not even close. Merkel, Lord of Bones. I am here. I am ready. I am Yours! You dare end one who belongs to me. I am the smile of the world cleansed. Okay, like, how many bosses or fights are, is, are there gonna- like, what? This is death. And I am not the end. I am the beginning. How are we supposed to fight this now? Like what? Shit. No kidding. Oh my God. Apostle of Merkel. If I can't beat this now, I'm telling you right this second, guys, this is where the video will end and I won't be able to make it to Baldur's Gate. So that means there will be another video. Oh, like we still have to kill all the little skeleton guys that are going to kill me in one shot. If I can get two crits, this would be great right now, because if I move, get a crit, please, of 10. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you do come back to life? Or not. That's it. That's GG. That's GG. This is it. That said, guys, I really do appreciate the support that you show me every single day and that you still show me to this day. I will forever be grateful. I will never stop thanking you. And I just appreciate the support so very much. You have no idea. And I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is going to be a very long one, probably one of the longest videos I've ever done. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Watch my other stuff, all that fun stuff. But this is Rhea Pandas signing out. Bye, guys. A huge shout out to Enlisted for sponsoring today's video. Get your free bonus today by registering with my link in the description down below, three days of premium time, and several orders for troops and weapons.